The machine is owned by Yukon College and the first of its kind in North America. It cost about $200,000, with both the college and the federal government kicking in money. The machine comes from Japan. Its inventor is in the city to oversee the installation. He says it bothered him that so much plastic was being thrown away. A local researcher first read about it more than a year ago. Then he pitched it to cold climate innovation at Yukon College's research center. I just couldn't believe that such a thing could exist. Uh, taking waste plastic, turning into oil at such an economical rate. The machine has been installed at PM Recycling. Its owner has been stockpiling plastics all summer and is looking for more sources. He says people in the Whitehorse area are throwing out more than 900,000 kilograms of waste plastics every year. The machine can turn 10 kilograms of plastic into 10 liters of synthetic diesel. Uh, I do believe it can pay for itself, but I also believe that it takes care of a larger problem, which is the, the waste plastics that, quite frankly, are getting thrown in the garbage. Now, if we can plan to close the loop on that, I think that's every recycler's goal. The machine will be here for the next two years. Over that period, it will be monitored and test done on the crude oil. McEnroy will use the oil to heat his plant. He says it should work in any furnace that has an inside tank. After the test period, the project will be reviewed to see if a bigger machine is warranted.